everybody, Sibling Power here, and today I am back with some more epic modded survival and wiped Julia. She's, well, that kind of sounds like I'm some kind of... There's a race in Star Trek I know that calls everyone by, like, title name. Um, I'm pretty sure it's from Star Trek. I don't know the name of the race, though, so I'm not going to say it because I don't want to insult Star Trek people. Uh, okay, so, um, I, last time I should say that we found these things, the... Um, I'm gonna eat these melons because I have a stack in there. Oh, I'm just gonna get rid of them. Um, that we found the Dwarven Forges and the Hobbit Ovens. And I did some searching because I was wondering, like, I thought these things were pretty overpowered. The Dwarven Forge is really good, but I like, but I was thinking, uh, do I have anything better? Is there anything better? Because the Hobbit Oven can only cook food and the Dwarven Forge can only smelt, uh, metals. Um, but I'll show you what makes them worth it. Like, what's they're better than a furnace because they have multiple slots each. Um, so that's the idea of these, and that's why I was looking for them. But I actually discovered something better. And I don't know if it can only cook food or it can only smelt. I think it might even be able to do both. And it is called, as you can see in my search bar, because I got my not enough items thing back, the oven. Yes, oven. So, this crafting recipe, though, is freaking really, really expensive. It is eight blocks of iron around a furnace. Luckily, remember all that iron we found back at uh, Middle Earth? Well, that went together with my iron, and I now have 15 blocks, plus 13 little ingots to make more blocks. So, I figured, you know what? We're going to make the oven. It's overpowered, but we're going to make it. Okay, so, uh, what I want to do is I want to fill this in and we'll figure out where the oven goes in a bit. Um, the coal I think is going to have to be moved um, because the coal doesn't actually have a use anymore. Um, okay, so we're going to take um, the blocks of iron and we're going to throw them around. We're going to have seven left and we're going to put that in the middle and now we have an oven. And I figured something else out that I want to make because it's going to be fun um, and it emits light. Um, so, yeah. Uh, and that's just going to require, uh, and that's the oven overhead. So that's a pretty simple recipe, just, uh, plop, 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 plop. Um, no. Um, plop, 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 plop. Okay, so now we'll have a proper oven. Um, so I want to move this. There we are, give it to this. Uh, and the cabinet I'm going to move over here with the other cabinets. I should probably separate it to ensure that it's that we know it's the coal cabinet. Okay, so that's the cabinet. We're going to put all the coal back in there. Yeah, well, there we go. All the coal's back in there, and the oven is going to go right here. So the oven and the oven overhead. So, yes, now we have an oven. And if we look at this, yes, this is a continuous fire source. It will never run out, and it can do many things at once. I need to see, though, if it can smelt. So I'm going to go ahead and pull out some of the stuff we got from Middle Earth. I'll pull out some silver here. And I want to see if it can smelt. Can you smelt? Can you cook? I'm wondering if you can cook oven. Um, what's something that can be cooked? Uh, potatoes. We're going to go and cook them potatoes. See if it can cook. Can it? Because if it can't smelt, then we have the dwarven furnaces. And I'm still... Happy. Yes, it can cook. Okay, so it can't smelt, but it can cook, and it's got nine slots to do so. So, and it never uses coal. So that's going to be really helpful. So I figured if that was the case, then we were going to put our dwarven furnaces over here. Right over here. Oh, where's those dwarven furnaces? So yes, now we have our dwarven furnaces, and we have the coal to fuel them. So... Uh, as you can see, we're we're getting pretty powerful. And now we have some baked potatoes. It looks a little slower than a normal furnace. Uh, although I guess that's understandable. So, yes. Um, now we have ourselves a real and proper oven. Um, it can't smelt. But I want to show you another thing the dwarven furnaces can do. Can that thing just not smelt because this is an ore from a different mod? That's a good question. Do I have an ore from this mod? Which can be, do I have something from... 
Minecraft, which can be smelted and considered smelting. Can you just... Here, I'm going to put some cobblestone in there and see if it smelts. I just want to see if this can smelt. Maybe it can only smelt Minecraft stuff. Let's just see. Let's just... I think it's going slower because I put something else in there. That's a good sign. I don't know. I didn't test this. And pop. No. Maybe it had to reset. Okay, I'm just going to let that go. Uh, see if it smelts it. Um, so, yeah, as you can see, it's quite slower than a normal thing. Um, if this doesn't smelt now, I'm going to say that this can't smelt anything. Which is understandable, because it is an oven, after all. It's not like it's a it's not like it's a forge you're sticking it in. Like, this is the forge. Um, yes, that, that cannot smelt anything. Okay, well, that's good. Uh, good to know that we cannot smelt anything inside of that. Um, now, what we're going to do, though... Why do I have that? Um... What we're going to do is I want to show off one thing that the Dwarven Forge can do. If we take ourselves some copper and some tin and we go ourselves and grab some of our coal here, we can both smelt silver, copper, and tin at the same time. No, wait, silver, the thing that you're wanting to smelt singularly goes down. And as you can see here, it can combine ores. And but now we have bronze and we have silver. Okay, so bronze is an, is essentially the same strength as iron. Um, it's just used to craft things besides iron, if that makes sense. Now I have these things in here. Um, so yes, as you can see, this combines into bronze. So that's the Dwarven Forge is the only thing which can combine. Uh, and I also put down our Dwarven crafting table here just in case we wanted to use that. But at the moment, we're going to go and put ourselves our Middle Earth ingots into here and put this pouch over here. Um, so, yes, now we have 10 bronze because those doubled up. And, yes, so now we have bronze. I don't know what bronze can be used for. Let's take a quick look. It can be made into iron and tools and spears um, and axes and chandeliers. Interesting. Uh, Horn of Command. What does that do? Um, Sword of Command. What does that do? Um, bronze Dagger. Okay, not too much that can be made into. Silver, I know, can be made into ingots and ingot uh, nuggets. And nuggets can be made into coins. And these are the trading in Middle Earth. So when we want to go back to Middle Earth, we can trade with those. I'm actually going to uh, stick these in my pouch. Um, because I'll want to carry these. Actually, I'm going to take this stuff out, move this stuff in here. And bingo, bingo, bingo. Okay, so now I've got, um, the coins in the pouch. So, yes, I got my coins. Um, still have a bunch of iron. Let's put this iron back, this iron back. Um, and that's good. So now I have two furnaces. These I'm going to throw in here in case we ever need them again. Uh, and also, you'll notice that I took my bow out because I actually got the enchantments that I wanted, and now I have power and infinity. So I never run out of arrows, and I hit really hard. So, um, yes, yeah, so that's helpful. Uh, it looks like it's, yes, it's the middle of the night. We should go to, oh, good God. Um, it's always zombies out the front door. Get away from my wife. Thank you. Uh, I know, I know what you're after, zombie. Um, you sleep. I'm going to, uh, sleep as well. Okay, morning time. Um, so yes, I think this is all good. Um, and we're gonna go put this rotten flesh away. Get in there. Okay, um, so yes, now we've got almost a proper kitchen going. We got ourselves this, we got ourselves a sink. Or basin, I guess you could call it. And, uh, yes. Uh, okay, everyone. Sorry about the cut, but the this thing actually crashed. Um, I figured out the issue, though. It's when I shift-clicked to get these potatoes, it crashed. So, when I went back in, I found that you just normal-click the potatoes, and it won't crash. But for some reason, it crashes if you shift-click. So, uh, note of thumb for everyone who uses this mod. 
do not shift click in the oven otherwise it will and apparently it emits egg particles um okay um so now we can eat our baked potatoes yum 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 okay so all um all hecticness aside uh that took like that took me about 20 minutes to figure out how to fix the video because i don't know how to fix uh corrupted files luckily i figured out how to fix uh uh, corrupted video files. I can just put them in my video editor and cut out the corrupted bits. Um, so yes, so that, that, the cut, I think the corrupted bit started when I clicked on the oven. I don't know why that was, but, uh, the, the oven really did not want to be in a video. Um, oh well. So, um, oven, you will be in videos from now on and you will not crash the game. Otherwise, I'll need to kill you and replace you with these hobbit ovens. Yes, you see, you want to be replaced by this dude. He looks like a brick. You really want to be replaced by him? I bet you don't, so you will not mess up. Uh, okay, um, so, um, we're gonna put the Hobbit ovens in here for now, since we don't have a use for those. We have our Dwarven Forges over here, and, uh, the Coals over here. So now that we've, uh, got a well-established sort of setup, how are you doing? Um, we are going to... The next uh, thing I wanted to go back into um, the um, what is it? Uh, the Twilight Forest. Now that I'm like powerful and I've got more powerful stuff, I wanted to go back into the Twilight Forest and take some more looks at some of the Twilight Forest mobs. Um, so I will uh, meet you guys in um, the. Twilight Forest. Just let me uh, stop this here, and um, let me, just let me stop this here so that it doesn't crash too. Alrighty, guys, I'm in the Twilight Forest. No crashes, um, and we were just going to take a look around. Uh, I want to teleport somewhere. Uh, let's go to that Cobalt Cavern and uh, start exploring from there so okay so that's the direction that our portals in so we're gonna continue going this way and looking for various loots and whatnot so I guess this is just gonna be a bit of a walk we're gonna find stuff um, because Middle Earth doesn't have too much to offer where I went uh, there's a lot more to offer in other places uh, Middle Earth doesn't real. I think the strongest thing you can get from Middle Earth is oh good god that's scary. Uh, Forest Bunny. Um, how did that? I don't know how that scared me, but it did. The Forest Bunny was a bit frightening. Uh, what is that? Was it? Was I ever here? Uh, I distinctly remember. I don't remember these pillars at all. Uh, why am I taking damage here? Twilight Forest is weird. Uh, okay. Well, um. There appears to be may, may apples and um, this kind of summoning altar. Okay, I am not going to question that. That is an altar of death, I think. Um, so yeah, we're gonna gonna we're, what we're mainly looking for is structures, things that will. Uh, oh, good God, the zombies. Um, so yeah, structures, things that will uh, assist us. We have a bunch of fireflies still. Fireflies, I can put them in a jar. What's down here? Uh, oh, could stop it. Why does Rana keep punching me in the face? Uh, so that's a root. Um, that's a zombie. That is bedrock. Good God, how low is the... The toilet forest is not that deep, apparently. Um, okay, what's in here? Is this just a cave? Rana, stop punching me in the face, Rana. Uh, okay, so there's more iron here, which is good, because we just used a bunch of it. Um, okay, let's, uh, keep exploring. So there's the cave cavern thing. This is lagging. The Twilight Forest is a laggy place. Uh, jump over. Good job, Ronnie. You didn't punch me in the face and cause me to fall down the deep cavern. Why do you keep punching me in the face? You are, you are a problem. Uh, okay, let's, um... You know, I'm taking you off. You're such a problem. I'm taking you off. Um, let's equip, um, you know, let's equip companion cube. You're gonna be, we're gonna, we're gonna equip someone who doesn't punch us in the face. Someone who can't speak, but also somebody who can't punch us in the face. Let's, uh, let's go. Let's go, companion cube. 
Um, okay, so that's a less deep ravine. That might be a ravine we want to go down, but that ravine... Now we need to be careful because we don't have uh, endless falls anymore. Although we didn't with Rana because Rana's glitching out all over the place in here. Um, so yeah, I think we're just going to explore here until we finish uh, up the video. So we're just going to see what we find. What can we find in the twilight forest? Maybe some twilight. We're not reading that book, no. That's not a book we want to read. Sorry if you like twilight. Um, I, I don't know who does, but still. Um. Anyway, let's go. Uh, do, do, do. Oh, that's, that was a fall. Keep forgetting we can't fall forever. Um. Taking more fall damage than I am at, than I am monster damage. Um, where is, um, well there's some coal. We can harvest this up. My efficiency pick. Get out of here. I die. Okay. Um, yeah, that thing's a pain in the neck. Um, harvest some coal. Oh, good God, I was in a wall. Um, some salt. I don't need salt. I have stacks upon stacks of salt at home. We're just going to harvest this up because this stuff can be used to make more torches. And I need more torches. Okay. Um, do we have the coal now? Yes, we do. Um, I'll need to make a ladder up. Okay, that's been done. What does that lead to? Little hole. I don't care about that. Um, this leads to a less deep hole. But it leads to a little area. Uh, I hear a skeleton. Yeah, get out of here. I have an infinity bow. I never run out of arrows. Ow! Freaking why is everything killing me? Ow! Okay, pull back. Where are you? Where are you? Uh, okay, well, there's the zombie. Why are so many zombies? Where's that skeleton that was shooting me? Okay, well, we can get some experience. I still hear zombies. Well, there's a skeleton. He's still stuck in the hole. Why are they? What's with all the zombies? This is not the zombie apocalypse. Oh, this is not. What? Stop coming out of holes. Okay. You're, okay, you at least came out of the ceiling. Oh, good God, there's everything is in here. Ah, it's a cave of zombies. What the heck? Why is there so many zombies in this cave? Okay, well, I am uh, moving. Um, harvest iron. Taking your stuff. I know there's a skeleton down there. Well, I frankly give up on him. We're going back to the surface world where things don't always attack me. Uh, where is the surface world? I lost the surface world. Is that the surface world? That is the surface. I want this iron. Kill me while I get this iron. I will kill you. Because I can come back from the dead. Uh, okay, well, that's the surface world. Okay, let's get up there. Let's use this cobblestone to get up to the surface world. Okay, we're back up to the surface world. Um... So, yeah, so that little cave was fun. Uh, let's go ahead and explore. Where I want a structure. Give me a structure. Structures. Structures. Oh, there's a chicken. Um, oh, boy. Uh, I fell down a hole. Oh, this is not good. Uh, oh, good. What? No, don't pop up on my screen. No, things are popping up all over my screen. Help. Help. Okay, um, sorry, I don't think you could see it, but there were, like, pop-ups. I think they were caused by, um, 
things out of my control. Anyway, uh, let's get a go ahead and... Is this a tree? If I cut down this tree, will it take three hours? Oh, I see something. Is that another Naga maze? Last time I faced a Naga, I died many times over. Blackberry Cobbler. Um, you know, I don't have time to face a Naga. So, I'm going to, uh... Is this a Naga I already beat? Hold on. Let me just check. Let me pull out some dirt. Make a little stairway up. Hmm. This does not appear to be a beaten Naga. Nope, there's the spawner. I see it. I see it out of the corner of my eye. That's the spawner. Okay, um, so I'm going to set the waypoint here. I'm going to set this um, B to a uh, Naga. Na Nagi. Naga. Okay, there we are. That's a Naga. Okay, so we have a Naga. Um, by the way, I have a waypoint to my latest death. We're going to delete that. Okay, so there we are. We have a Naga. Okay, um... Um, so yes, I think this is a good place to end off the episode. So, uh, yeah, guys, uh, like and subscribe if you want to see more Minecraft videos. And I guess I will see everyone in the next video. A goodbye, everyone.